When did your father arrive from Tuscany to live in Australia? How old was he when he came here? He was 21. It was very hard for him because he came out by himself. My mum didn't come out at that time. And he couldn't speak and it was very difficult when you got put on a farm like that and just told to go and do a certain job. So it took him a long while to get mum. It took him about six and a half years before mum arrived. He borrowed the money from a bloke called Fellini's who was a well-to-do man those days and he borrowed money off him to bring my brother, who was born before my father came uh, to Australia. When I arrived in Rousseau, I was 18 months, so I was born in 34, so mid-35 so was when they came. They came over here for a new living, and Dad was good at what he'd done. In, he was a good farmer, he worked hard, he taught me how to work hard, and my brother Edo. It was one of the things he instilled on us. If you want to get anywhere in life, you've got to work. Firstly, he had to go and get a job because he had no money. And he worked at Riverston Meatworks for quite a few years. And weekends, he used to accumulate some building, like some timber. Well, mainly he used to cut his tr the trees and have his own poles for his sheds get some iron, and uh, we, he started uh, producing eggs and growing vegetables at the same time, but all with horses. And he also built his first dam just 100 metres from here with a horse uh, scoop. So I still remember all that. So uh, uh, he worked terribly hard for what he got, but uh, it was a way of life those days. Mum and Dad used to make their own cream, they used to make all their cheeses. I remember mum staying there for hours making a cheese roll. You know how you used to get a piece of tin about that high and, and it would be that long and you'd put it around the cheese and you'd keep on pressing it and pressing, making it narrower and she used to spend hours at, at doing it. And it was beautiful cheese, it was really great. Dad arrived as a 16-year-old back in 1936 and Mum arrived around the same time but she was a four-year-old, right? And both grandparents, my grandparents, uh, were very good friends and uh, so Dad was about 11, 12 years older than Mum and, but they lived in south of Italy in two towns. One was Martini... And on the other side of the mountains was a town called San Juan there. That's where Dad was born. What was the soil like in those villages and those lands? Very poor, very poor. That's why it was very hard for them to make a lot of mountains, a lot of hilly mountains, and uh, that's why they couldn't make a living. A lot of olive trees and olive plantations, but there was not enough flat land for good farming. And that's why Grandfather went looking for... Uh, a better life for the children. They tried Australia, and my grandmother always said to me, she uh, remembered quite vividly that she got a letter and it said, we found paradise, and this was Australia, and it is paradise compared to other countries. We're far away from all the troubles of the world, and it's a wonderful country. Yeah. Did they settle in Sydney then? Settled in North Ryde. All the Italians migrated around that area, around Macquarie University, it was all market gardens. And I had my uncle Vince Mercedi was next door to my uncle Roy uh, Monteverdi. Further up was my cousin John Nadai and his father and their family. But it was all market gardens around North Ryde. But then it all got released and they all went different ways. Who went to Kellyville, who went to Kenthurst, who went to Dural. But uh, they all moved to different spots, yeah. My village is Manikata, right. which is in the St Paul's Bay area. Um, from our house, where we lived as children, you could see, you could see the beach and the rocks, and it was really nice. After school and on, we helped on the farm when it was holidays. We we were with mum and dad as we got got a little bit older. Then, if you could help, you helped. Well, I was born in uh, July 1946 and I was born in Imjar, which is in Malta, of course, and 
Well, my father, he didn't work the farm much because he was more of a, a fruit and vegetable seller, like a greengrasser, but selling from house to house. We came in Australia in 1949, but that was his job there. And when we came here, well, we started growing vegetables. Well, my father came out in 1960. Um, Mum and the five girls, we stayed back in Malta, and then we came out nine months later, which is 1961. Well, I think my parents chose Australia because a lot of, a lot of people from our village were coming to Australia at the time, and he knew some people here that they act as guarantors for you. They supply you with somewhere to live and work. So he came out, got settled, and when he made arrangements for somewhere for us to live, then we came out. We lived in Caliville for nine months. We went to school at St Monica's at Northmaid. Uh, and then nine, nine months after that, just before Christmas, Mum and Dad had bought the place, a place at Glenory and they started working there and we moved up there. And, of course, we helped them in the farm and we just basically worked together and lived together as a family. And it was, it was a great opportunity for us to, like for Mum and Dad, to start a new life for us. It was, it was hard because... Um, of course, they couldn't afford, they, they'd bought the place and they couldn't afford to employ anyone. So every pair of hands made a difference. What we used to do work before we go to school because we used to grow a lot of bunches in Glenory when we were in Glory because we had a s small acreage there. That was our main product, like, you know, but beetroot and spinach and parsley and more small stuff not like when we came out to Maruda. And uh, then, of course, we used to help him before we go to school, go to school, come back straight to the farm. Hardly ever did any homework anyway. All the people that came from Malta, they were mainly farmers in those days, not like now, but in the late 30s to sort of late 60s, whatever came, they were mainly all farmers. Uh, well, we used to go to church at the same place every Sunday. Yeah, every so we Sunday. just knew each other, so... <laughs> One thing turns to the other. <laughs> well, we got married at Kellyville, actually, because um, that was there was a Maltese priest there, yeah. and Mum and Dad wanted us to get married in the Maltese community. Um, we got married in 1972, and then we moved to Maruta straight after that.